Posterior polar cataracts as we all know are unique. They could either be adherent to the posterior capsule or have pre-existing posterior capsular defect thereby carrying a high risk of intraoperative posterior capsular rupture and vitreous loss. In this video, we are going to show you the do's and don'ts of managing a PPC. First, assess the nuclear sclerosis present along with the PPC. ASOCT is helpful in the preoperative evaluation and helps in identifying any PC defect. Make a 5 to 5.5 mm rexis, which is important to facilitate placement of IOL in the sulcus in case of a posterior capsular rupture. Once an adequately sized rexis is made, the visco pockets are created all around the nucleus. Hydro delineation is then done. Hydro dissection should be avoided in PPC because the hydraulic pressure from the fluid injection can cause a posterior capsular rupture. Due to the adhesions between the PPC and the posterior capsule and a thin PC over this particular area. Remember, nucleus rotation is contraindicated in a case of PPC because this increases the chances of a posterior capsular rupture and zonular dialysis. Then, we proceed with the FACO under low flow settings. Nucleus should be emulsified before manipulating the PPC component, which prevents the nucleus drop or cortex drop in case of a PCR. This is followed by cortex aspiration which should be pulled tangentially and not pulled centrally like we usually do. And this helps to prevent the stress on the zonules and avoiding a posterior capsular rupture. Now once the cortex is loosened all around, tease and release the polar component from its attachment. Avoid AC collapse as it can cause a posterior capsular rupture. Now before withdrawing your FACO probe, fill the anterior chamber with dispersive viscoelastics through the side port. Inflate the bag with viscoelastic and inspect for any PC compromise. Once the integrity of the capsule is confirmed, place the IOL in the bag. Posterior capsule polishing should be avoided even if the PC is intact. Hope you found these tips useful to help plan your next case of posterior polar cataract.